I tried every airline in America. <laughs> Have you ever been on a really great flight? Yeah. Or a really horrible flight? Ah, ah, no! I'm ready to dedicate... W reference to the one time Alaskan Airlines had the emergency door fly right off. That's a good reference to start off. However many days of my life it takes to try every single airline in the country. It might take me a week. It might take me a month. My tombstone might be inside of a terminal. And believe me, the results will make some of you very angry. I am actually about to miss my flight. I don't know how I do this every single time. Here we go. And during this experiment, I'm gonna be putting my life on the line for you guys. Flight number one. I'm gonna be trying the same seat on the Alaska flight where the door flew off. An airline that only holds six people. Private jet for $200. And maybe most days. You can get a private jet for $200? Door flew off. An airline that only holds six people. Private jet for $200. And maybe most dangerous of all, Spirit Airlines. And just like that, we were on to our first airline, United. All right. I just have to follow through three simple rules. Rule number one, I am not allowed to leave the airport system. I basically have to be in an airport or on an airplane until this entire thing is over. Rule number two, I have to buy the nicest seat the airline will sell me and I'm gonna rate my experience based on four factors. Price, comfort, service, something that I like to call the X factor. I wanna leave these airlines room to surprise me. And rule number three, all food, drink, bathroom breaks, sleep must occur Ew. on the plane or in an airport. Live by the plane. Yo, you know what, chat, there's, okay, I don't like, Atlanta as a city's kinda like whatever you know it is what it is like i'm here for now type shit but let me tell you the best part about this city is the fucking airport can we clap it up for the atlanta airport one of the busiest airports in the world and it does not feel like it and my favorite part is that delta based in atlanta my nigga and delta is the greatest airline in airline history yo Del delta being based in atlanta takes atlanta from like a six out of ten to an eight out of ten off the strength of that and you don't truly appreciate it till you have to deal with shit airports and shit airlines. It just it just makes everything easier, bro. Like literally, bro. And keep in mind, like I feel like I've had all not all, but I've had a lot of the experiences, like some of the luxurious ones, like Qatar Airlines, and some of the poverty ones, like Ethiopian Airlines, losing my bags every single time. And let me tell you, man, I am so happy Delta's based in Atlanta, bro. It's a blessing that I can fly Delta everywhere because they got flights from everywhere leaving from Atlanta. It's amazing, bro. It's like directs too. I could direct to South Africa right now. I could direct to Ethiopia. I could direct to Nigeria. I could direct to UK, Rome. I could direct to basically anywhere on the planet that's not like fucking Australia. But honestly, that might be possible too. Die by the plane. You're in for a long haul, man. <laughs> Before we knew it, we were descending. This flight was $332 for an exit row seat. The only thing truly remarkable about the flight was that it was delayed and everybody in the plane missed their connecting flights. <laughs> Now, obviously, I'm not doing this alone. I've assembled a team of specialists. Tyler. Yo, September! Thank you for the five gifted subs! Uh, I appreciate the gifties, brother. W's in the chat. Let's get some W's in the fucking chat. Hey, I appreciate it. W September for the five. The Boy Scout, there is no environment that he can't you, survive in, which is exactly why I am leaving him at the airport. So I'm gonna be living in the airport for the next couple days, testing out all these lounges. All right. Oh, no way, they got a schlub machine. Anything that tastes good and isn't water is a schlub. Oh. Before raiding United, I wanted to hear how Tyler's lounge experience was. Judging on the three factors of price, food, and comfort, it's a B tier. Given the delays, gotta go C tier on that. My next flight is with Horizon Air, and like most of these airlines, it's a normal economy seat. But I have to say, the flight what I'm the most excited about is- What the fuck is Horizon Air? my last flight because it has the most comfortable seat in the country. The first thing I immediately noticed when boarding Horizon Air was it was about 120 degrees inside. It is so hot. The second thing was that once everybody boarded the plane, they immediately asked us all to deplane. Richard Branson? Two like, uh, two Virgin? So far delayed. This entire schedule relies on an extremely calculated flight plan and one delayed flight can throw this entire thing off. That's right. A delay like this could be catastrophic to our meticulously planned flight map. <laughs> the only thing worse than a delay in my plan to hit all 28 domestic airlines would be bro flight is canceled canceled do you know <laughs> why the fuck would he do that yo why would he do that <laughs> I don't know what that means. Have my friend Christina managing and booking all of these flights for me. I'm gonna call her with you guys so you can see how she reacts. Oh no. I just checked the app and it says canceled. Why would they not tell anyone about this? Two flights in, Horizon Air had already destroyed <laughs> a meticulous plan. Which means I think that this is going to take longer than I thought it was going to.
I also have Jack. He's completely unprepared and I'm sending him on a very special mission. Welcome to Jack's Bathroom Review. To investigate the cleanliness of every bathroom on his flights. Very important how well this flushes. I would say that's pretty quick. B tier. Alrighty, we are approaching the JSX jet. I'm here to bring you guys the hard hitting truths of the JSX bathroom. Oh no, melted glass. Why are you? This nigga needs to be fucking studied. Why are you touching it, bro? What the fuck? The one fly toilet paper. Embarrassing. The coveted blue blush. A couple of perfections here and there. JSX. C tier airline. I didn't think I would be delivering a scathing review this early, but Horizon, you're F tier. Terrible airline. New flight check. So I rebooked a new flight with SkyWest Airline. Well, looks like it's about boarding time for me. Hopefully it's not delayed. Delays an hour from now. <laughs> Hey, this nigga has bad luck, bro. I really apologize about this it's outside of the, anybody's control. This is going so bad. <laughs> Legitimately, the only thing keeping me going through these moments was the fact that I had the he greatest domestic seat book for the end of this trip, which I am so excited about. Oh, business of my class! Experience. I sent Tyler to the Alaska Lounge since SkyWest and Alaska were doing this flight together. My brother ate seven bowls of macaroni and cheese That's and fire. was having the time of his life inside of this lounge. Staff was friendly. The food was bad, except for their mac and cheese. It was ungodly. He rated the lounge experience. I think it's B tier. Given the delays and the comfort of the seats, the plane seats might be made out of concrete. Sky West is going D tier. I am <laughs> loungeless for the rest of the day. I will say I'm getting pretty lonely. I did get word from Beans he might come visit me. I'm hoping that's the case. I am sad and I want to go home. It's 8.15 p.m. right now. I'm going to be flying all tonight, all tomorrow. So I'm going to finish this. I'm going to lay down right here. And I'm going to disappear off the face of the planet. I hope Cameraman Jack is having a good time today. We're back with another airplane bathroom review. Pretty good water pressure. Nice and warm. Pretty good hand towels. Very clean. Yo, like when niggas do this, like, like, okay. Do you think... Do you think I'm gonna wash my hands with one second worth of fucking water, my nigga? Uh, airplane bathroom review. Pretty good water, bro. Like, I hate when niggas do this, dog. Remove this shit. Stop. Let me waste water, bro. It's gonna fucking all filter back, okay? 100% of water gets filtered and re-enters the system. It's impossible to waste water, okay? If I shower for five hours, all of it will be captured and filtered, and you're gonna drink it tomorrow. So stop being stingy, okay? One second of water is not enough for me to wash my hands. I don't want to fucking tap it nonstop because I'm going to dirty my hands tapping the shit. It's just like, what's up, bro? What, 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 what happened to America? Pressure. Nice and warm. Pretty good hand towels. Very clean. We like this. We only got one ply toilet paper. But I'm not mad at you one bit. <laughs> Pretty fast one. <laughs> nigga said, try telling that to my pops. Your pops doesn't want you to waste water because it fucks up his water bill. And if you don't know, your most water bills, at least in Georgia... It's based on your water bill last year. So if last year you had a fat water bill, you're going to have a fat water bill this year. If last year you didn't use a lot of water, you're going to have a less water bill this year. It's like that here. I don't know if it's like that everywhere. Anyway, he just doesn't want to waste money. Me personally, I'm wasting that money, bro. It is what it is. Like, I deserve to waste some money, my nigga, like from time to time. I, I, I'll, I'll be honest with y'all, niggas. Yesterday I turned the shower on and it took me 20 minutes to actually enter. It gets the job done. Eight here. And I had just enough time to catch about three hours of sleep. 4.35 in the morning and I just woke up. My next flight was with one of the most notorious airlines, Southwest. Now, like any good unbiased investigative reporter, during this entire experiment, I was interviewing strangers on what they thought were the worst and best airlines. And here's what people have to say about Southwest. Spirit. I like the boarding process. I think it's nice that you get your bags free. The snacks are fire. First of all, there's no sound. The water's free. The bathroom works. Something that kept coming up was... Some call it the death race. I agree. It's a competition to get the A-list. It's kind of fun. Basically, on Southwest, there are no assigned seats. So given my competitive spirit, I lined up just like everybody else in a race to acquire the best seat on the plane. We've done it. First row. This is by far the best seat I've ever gotten on a Southwest flight. And this super jacked guy got the seat next to me. Looking back at this, he looks so uncomfortable. I feel <laughs> This nigga has the best seat on that plane, and he still looks this uncomfortable. <laughs> Yo, Southwest is a poverty airline. All right, this is the airline that's considering giving obese people two seats for the price of one. They're all brain dead, bro. Feel bad for him. Honestly, even though that Southwest flight was delayed four hours, I will say, however, the flight was only two hundred and twenty-one dollars. I got the best seat in the plane. The flight staff were amazing. What Southwest lacks in their ability to show it to places on time, they gained back in the overall vibe. C tier. But the next airline was one that I have been warned about by every single person that I've interviewed. Welcome back to Mafia Moves. What is your least favorite airline? Spirit. 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 They hit you with the secret taxes. I have not flown them, but I would still say they're my least. <laughs> 
You a hater, nigga. Name a fucking airline you flew. How the fuck is you going to hate an airline you haven't flew the most? I've flown Spirit, chat. Spirit first class is like Delta economy. You'll survive. Fair from, what? from what I've heard about them. There may not be a more infamous airline in this entire video, Spirit Airlines. There's so many famous clips of fights breaking out. The most insane But my, my flight was only an hour and a half, though, so it wasn't too bad. On the very bottom of the list of America's favorite airlines, only beaten by Frontier, which we're going to be trying later in this video. But first, I need to get charged extra. The first thing I noticed when I walked onto this plane was that it was actually one of the newest and cleanest planes I'd been on so far. The seat had... Whoa, what the fuck is this? Not spirit? Pretty solid legroom, but I cannot lie to you when I tell you I slept like a baby from the moment of takeoff to the moment of landing. I woke up dazed and confused, and before I knew it, I was walking off the plane. Listen, guys, I don't know what magic just happened. That spirit flight was the cleanest, smoothest, nicest staff. He sat first class. That's why I was 544. F I have interacted with this entire time. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Spirit Airlines is B tier. Now Maybe they had nothing but good things to say and still put out a B tier. What the fuck? Now, not only am I going to be reviewing every single one of these airlines, I've also prepared something very special. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. We have Flight Attendant of the Year Award, Best Captain Award, Coolest Person to Sit Next To Award. I'm going to be giving all of these out <laughs> during my journey at some point to a deserving recipient. Captain Award, Best Passenger. That's the plan. Could be you. I'm excited to see who gets it. I'm telling you, these awards are a hot commodity out here. Contour Airlines. <laughs> I actually have no idea what this airline is, so I asked this guy. What is Contour Airlines? We were a military charter, now we're a mainline airline. So it's just a regular airplane. No, smaller scale. You might be wondering what he meant by that. This was the real reaction of everyone in the bus when we pulled up to Contour's plane. We made fun of our plane. <laughs> That's right, this plane is comedically small. I almost feel bad for it. It turns out that Contour was friends with my next airline, Flying Finn. Because after this flight landed in Missouri, three people got off, and then the plane just took back off. The service was great because there were so few of us, but the planes were very small. I'm gonna give both of them C tier. My next flight is with Envoy Airlines, which is owned by America. Where the fuck, do, where, 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 what the fuck is a Contour? What's an Envoy? Niggas don't know what this shit is. Who the fuck is flying Envoy? Nigga, just stay where you're at, bro. I don't know how to tell you. Kin Airlines, which means that Tyler has a new lounge to review. Just woke up, I'm so tired. I am sad. The next lounge is open. It is $150. But what I will say is if you're gonna charge more money, you have to give more stuff, and that's exactly what this place does. I took a shower, I got a mimosa upon entry. They yeah, did this nigga just throat that drink? <laughs> you have to give more stuff, and that's exactly what this place does. I took a shower, I got a mimosa upon entry. Who drinks like that? This nigga's disgusting. Yo, I really wish if there was a lounge where I can go to the gym and shower and then hop on my flight, no exaggeration, I would pay for that. Like, that needs to exist. I don't know if it does exist. I don't do the lounge shit because it just feels like a fucking who has a bigger dick contest. It, it feels like trying to get into a party in LA. That's what it feels like. And I'd rather just wait outside my fucking gate, bro. I don't want to come early regardless. Entry. They have a bar that's self-service. Oh, yeah. I would come here just to eat. I'm going to have to go ahead and give this lounge an A tier rating. I hope Eric has a good experience with the flight. This flight went by super fast. It cost me $463. And since I want this tier list to be unbiased, I asked Colin and Gavin to rate the airline for me. Definitely not because I got an entire row to myself and slept oh through the entire flight. Oh, my God. It's definitely really comfortable. Uh, crammed or anything. The servers were good, too. Yeah, I'd give it A. A. Pretty good. Envoy Airlines, B tier. And for somebody like me, somebody on a long term odyssey through airports that he can't leave i hit the jackpot i am at a hotel i've been waiting for a hotel that's connected to an airport to do two things number one we found a gym in an airport you don't understand why i'm taking working out so seriously i'm about 600 days deep on a bodybuilding i remember against my good friend slash arch nemesis <laughs> And the competition I've been working towards happens in exactly 15 days. I have been eating pre-made meals this entire time. Alex is basically following me around wherever I end oh, wow. the day. No quit. This man has no quit. To drag me into the gym and make me work out. It's honestly been a pretty wild, emotional journey. Almost two years worth of- Yo, non-gamer, they have a tier one. Crockett, they have a tier one. Damn, now I'm getting fucking FOMO because of my shitty neck. Filming to make this video. And it will be the next video that you guys see after this. The only thing that I'm more excited about right now is the second thing that I came here for. This is my first shower in two days, so this is really big for me. I'll see you guys in like three hours. It's day three. We're about 3,300 miles in. I am exhausted, but at least I've planted like 10 trees. 
and talking yeah. about the fact that I'm carbon offsetting this entire experiment. So by the end, we might have the Great Mafia Forest. Forest, forest, forest. Sadly, I had to leave behind my life of luxury to get back to the mission. Well, my next airline's mascot is a giant flamingo. Did it look cool? Why aren't you talking anymore? <laughs> what? What, what are these? What are these I'm airlines? Sure <laughs> the airplanes are pink. The uniforms are pink. Even the cones are pink. I was super excited about this airline. I love the aesthetic. Threw my bags in the overhead bin and sat down to enjoy my flight to Fort Lauderdale and my meal prep. If you guys didn't know, I love Taco Bell. Taco Bell! By far, you are my favorite drive through brand. And one of the cheat codes to eating healthy recently has been stealing a bunch of Diablo sauce. Please don't tell Taco Bell. We're back in the bathroom. This bathroom's nice. Push the button, pretty good. It is one ply, but it is quilted. At some point during Jack's bathroom reviews, he found a sign that said, Do not drink the water. And the level that he's about to take this bathroom review is a level so far beyond what I asked for or needed in this video. And I am genuinely sad that he did this. I kid you not, it tastes like a mountain spring. <laughs> Seems like Jack forgot to rate the airline. Jack, what do you think? I was gonna give it an E for E. coli, but the staff was awesome, the snack game was awesome, so I'm gonna give it an A. As a reminder, I still have all the awards that I plan to give out during this video. I honestly just have not found a cap. That nigga eats ass. We can say that for a fact, bro. If he's willing to scrape shit off a sink and drink, like, nigga, he's about to start licking toilet soon. He eats ass, bro. I'm, I'm guaranteeing it. I'll literally put my life on the line that he eats ass. Then we're a hostess or a person to sit next to that deserves it. My standards are high. Randomly, the flight got delayed 10 minutes for equipment malfunctions. We are starting off the day with a delay. But after 10 minutes, they tell us 30 minutes. We're estimating about a half an hour. We do appreciate your patience and apologize for the delay. And then they ask everyone to get off the plane. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. That was anticlimactic. After over two hours of waiting, I was still on the ground, but I wasn't the only one. I think we're gonna be stuck here indefinitely. We're like Tom Hanks in the movie um, Terminals. That's what we are right now. We're never leaving here. After over three hours of waiting, they brought everybody back onto the plane. Imagine they make us deep plane again. And as the plane is going down the runway, I cannot make this up. Regrettably, same issue we had reappeared. How about you get another fucking plane? Silver, why don't you get another plane? You're having malfunctions. What the fuck? Don't, if, yo, if there's an issue with the plane, please tell me it's missing fuel or some shit. Don't tell me there's a fucking equipment malfunction with the flying machine. That I'm, I'm supposed to be in the sky with this machine, bro. I don't want to hear that, nigga. Next thing you know, especially if the trip has turbulence, don't tell me that information. I don't want to know it. Going to have to go back to the game. They stopped the plane. Yeah, they're about to get an F. They're about then to get they an F. started playing this music in the airline like it was supposed to make us happy or feel better. This music makes me very angry. But I knew when I sat in that lay flat American airline seat at the end of this journey, I wasn't gonna be angry anymore. All right, we made it to Fort Lauderdale this time. I wish, I really wish. I cannot confirm or deny that this is an actual airline. Mafia, we are seeing a critical <laughs> analysis of the airline industry right now <laughs> unfold before our eyes. Silver <laughs> Airlines unfortunately gets F tier. In the meantime, I have to find a new flight out of this airport. Backed into a corner, there was only one airline I could turn to. Frontier Airlines. On Forbes' list of the top 10 budget airlines, Frontier came in 11th. Debatably, but, the most hated. But like, look though, Frontier is dumb cheap though. No exaggeration, they did a they did like a, a sale a long time ago that Walid got. Bro, Walid can fly Frontier for $400 a year. I'm not joking, bro. For the free ski, basically. A year. Unlimited. It's no limit. Yo, they did a promotion, and this nigga sent it to me. He's like, you want it? And I told him, I'm paying for Delta, brother. <laughs> I'm not flying Frontier. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Not all year. And Walid is a vacate. Walid is a travel demon, my nigga. No cap. He's the number one traveled. There is not a person you know in your life that travels more than Walid. Seriously, bro. He probably travels 90% of each month helping people with videos and shit like that, stuff like that. So for him, like, this would save a fuck ton of money. So it was low-key, like, the perfect investment. Place in America. Let's find out what it's And he's about. never so complained. You walk up to the he's never desk, complained. So notice people stuffing their bags into these boxes. That's because a lot of these budget airlines charge you ridiculous prices for carry-ons. Given the reputation, I was pretty nervous walking onto this flight. I'm so scared. But as I walked onto the plane, there was one thing that was exceptional about this airline. Okay. Do you you want to pose? Yeah. I'm going to sit right there. What? We're neighbors. It's meant to be. This is where I... Oh, she's about to win a couple awards. <laughs> G4, welcome back.
I meet Tamisha. Tamisha's my seatmate, but more importantly, she's a Frontier Airlines flight attendant. I just graduated in January. It looks like we just pass out snacks and drinks, but I promise you we are fully trained assassins. That's <laughs> I believe it. At some point during the flight, Tamisha upgraded. We went from seatmates to taking selfies together, laughing together, but my friendship did come with one condition. I have to be an unbiased flight reviewer and ask the hard question. This airline is extremely controversial. Why do people dislike Frontier so much? People have bad experiences with the people. I'm here to make sure you guys are enjoying a good time. I don't know where you're going, what your situation is. We may well, well, ladies, there's n literally nothing on the planet you can do to be worse than the Ethiopian airline flight attendant that I had an experience with. So I promise, like, you can't be in last place, all right? Make sure that we are coming in our full energy and people get that and hopefully we can change their mind. Thank you guys so much. I passed out some Starbucks gift cards to the flight attendants because they were so nice to me. But I had something even more special in mind for Tamisha. Coolest person to sit next to award. That's for you. Uh... I was actually going to give her the best flight attendant award, but TSA broke that one in my bag earlier. And Tamisha said that she wanted both awards since she both was sitting next to me <laughs> and as a flight attendant. And as Tamisha was delivering her speech, the plane landed. Thank you to my mother, father, to you. It's been a beautiful day. But Tamisha's speech didn't end there. If I can have your attention, please. Oh, no, no, no. We'd like oh, to no. point out a very oh, no. special person. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand, Eric. Oh. You gave us a great rating today. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you for being here. Hey, hey. Last few days of hey I'm telling y'all, there's a bunch of bougie niggas in the chat don't know how to act. Why don't y'all tell y'all niggas, bro? Spirit and Frontier are not the demons y'all make them out to be. The demons are the airlines that charge premium prices and give you shitty results. They literally tell you with their price what to expect. So if there's a delay or some shit, that's just what it is with Frontier. Literally, bro. But I'm telling you, when you pay American or United prices, there better not be no fucking delay, nigga. Simple. Being on airport floors, delays, cancellations. Having a flight crew as great as Tamisha and her co-workers was the push that I needed to keep going. Made this experience by far the best I had had over the past few days and set the bar so high for the rest of the airlines. That, guys, is why I do YouTube. <laughs> if I should bring Tamisha oh, and do she video, fucking cried. Tamisha back. The only problem, this is the gate that my next flight was at, which I missed because that flight was delayed. This is going to make some of you so angry. But if it weren't for the delay of me missing this flight, Frontier would be S tier. I'm putting it in A tier. Hey, Rack, you got a whole fucking shout out, bro. Like, I've never seen a nigga get a shout out in my life, bro. When you walk around airports, you'll notice that Delta is the dominant brand. You'll see their signs everywhere, and it is most people's favorite airline. What's your favorite airline? Delta. I like Delta. Delta's premium. I'm about to take a Delta flight. What should I look out for? Their service. Comfort-wise, it's really good. I like the premium seat. I've only had, like, positive experiences. You get everything you want, plus more. All right, let's see what all the fuss is about. Everyone just looked at me when I said that. I'm getting way too confident in the airport. And flying Delta means that Tyler has a new lounge to review. I just took a shower yesterday. I'm going to take another one. All right, Delta. Time to see what you got. Finally, it was time to board. I had a comfort plus seat, which is the middle ground between first Valid. class and economy. And I immediately noticed that compared to Frontier, the vibes were completely different. I do feel really weird filming on here because this is much more of a classy environment. It feels like Tyler should theoretically be in the Delta lounge right now, giving you guys a review. They got bagels. They got pastries. <laughs> they got a schloob tower. The shower was great. The staff's been great. This is an eighth year lounge. Hopefully, Eric's flight was good. Now, given that my seat was named after comfort, I tried to take advantage of all the amenities in the flight. They had an insane snack selection, multiple rounds of free drinks. I reclined. Yo, why is this nigga not in first class in any of these flights? In my seat, I watched a movie. Delta would absolutely be S tier if it weren't for the price, which brings it down to A tier. Once again, Fair. I hit the jackpot at the hotel built Fair. in the Chicago airport where I immediately fell asleep. It is currently 9.24 p.m. I don't know what to do. Sky Lounge is comp. I love it. Why the fuck is he so enthusiastic about a lounge, nigga? The lounge is going to start till tomorrow morning. <laughs> I did pack some stuff, though, to make myself... I be sitting in the middle seats every flight. <laughs> Yo, the middle seats is fine when you're on an exit row because they got them little fat-ass dividers. So if it's a fat nigga beside you, his fat won't leak into your area. Bro, chat, when my fat used to leak into other nigga's seats, that, like... You have no idea how shit of an experience that was for me, bro. Like, it probably sucked more for them, but I felt so bad. I'm like, bro, I should have bought this nigga seat too, bro, because I'm like, I feel like you, and they kept putting me beside skinny people, dog. That's the shit I hate too. I wish they put me up against another fat nigga so we could both encroach on each other's territory, but uh, middle seat's not too bad. 
if you're in the middle row, middle seat's valid. Number, nobody's gonna wake you up, you feel me, to go to the bathroom and shit like that. A little more at home. Sleeping bag and a pillow. Not much else to it. I, I don't wanna be here anymore. I woke up on day four and being alone is really starting to hit me. Most of the time I actually have no idea what city or what airport. Nigga says skinny niggas don't need all that space. <laughs> Sharoo! I am not going anywhere. I'm just here by myself. In a lot of ways I'm like an astronaut on a long-term mission to the space station. Just out here in purgatory on my own. own, own. To start the day, Jack and I marathoned a handful of mediocre What's gonna be S here? Republic Airways. New Pacific Airways. Delta. Republic. Delta connection. Things were actually starting to pick up and I was losing track of time. I forgot that it was St. Patrick's Day today. Which means it's also Tyler's birthday. Everyone come and happy birthday Tyler. I'm sure he's doing something fun right now. Your mom, thank you for 21 Tyler months. I was actually planning something. My mom and my stepdad just pulled off. That's right. Tyler's parents decided to fly in and surprise him for his birthday, and then he left the airport. But at this point in the video, I have absolutely no idea that that's happening, so I'm just gonna keep flying as usual. I don't know if I've disclosed this so far in this video, but I am terrified of flying. I hate flying. I hate flying. I hate flying. It's something I've had to get over for the past few years while making YouTube videos, but the next flight scares me more than anything we've done in the last four days. That little plane over there is called Cape Air. This plane what? has about six seats on it, and they have to weigh me and my baggage at the gate. I reluctantly marched my way over to the front desk where I met this sweet lady named Carly. I'm actually terrified of flying. Oh, no, no, no. You'll be okay. Don't be scared. No, no, think about it 10 rest. months. Whatever that sweet lady said at the front desk earlier was rubbing off at this point. I was not happy. The comfort was definitely suboptimal given my leg room and the fact that I got motion sickness. And the flight was surprisingly pricey at $459. I would only fly Cape Air again if I absolutely had to. I'm gonna rate it C tier. Now with Tyler gone, my morale was at an all-time low. But I still had a handful of airlines to try, including the most comfortable seat in the country. Next up was JetBlue, which didn't help one bit considering how janky these seats were. C tier. And even after this uncomfortable flight, I still had to go to the gym, get my workout in. It is 11.40 p.m. W dedication. Right we are lucky. I think that there is Mom, a chance that back. we're done tomorrow. On day five, I started with Endeavor Air. My spirits were at an all-time low. I had been in the airport so long that my YouTube comments turned into just people talking about how they were seeing me in the airport. But I had this super sweet seatmate <laughs> named Kathy that cheered me up. How would you rate me as a seatmate on a scale of one to ten? Ten. I don't believe you, but that's sweet. I haven't showered in days. Endeavor is going right there with Delta at A tier. But what was not A tier was racing around airports trying to find all of these airlines. I got directions, got stuck in a subway system. Welcome Wait, to the video. I'm in the vlog? Yeah. What's up, guys? Went up an escalator, went he to TSA again, and then showed up at the wrong oh. gate. All the way back oh my way. god. I was literal moments away from missing my flight, where in the moment where I needed them the most, they actually held the plane for me. But before I review Sun Country, Jack was flying Hawaiian Air. I am down horrendously. God damn, nigga, not my Held the plane for me. But before I review Sun Country, Jack was flying Hawaiian Air. I am down horrendously bad. I was up late with E. coli poisoning, but we do it for you guys. We keep pushing. Pretty good water pressure. This might be the thinnest toilet paper of any airline. What am I supposed to wipe my butt with? Now the most important part. I will not be drinking the toilet water on this one. D tier. I ended up getting free coffee, watching an entire movie, and sleeping through the- Yo, chat, I want y'all niggas to be honest with me because honesty is the best policy. When is the last time you accidentally fingered your asshole because the toilet paper broke? It's happened to all of us. No need to lie about it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. When is the last time your toilet paper broke and your finger went straight into shit? Years ago. Never. Y'all niggas is pretending. Stop pretending, okay? You don't always have triple ply, double ply toilet paper. Sometimes you gotta work with single ply and your finger goes through it. Never. I y'all niggas is fucking frauds. I I say less. I'm a lie to y'all too. I'm too, moving forward. I'm also lying. Just so the you know. entire flight all the way up to landing in Vegas. I'm impressed. I was so comfortable. The price was borderline unbeatable. B tier. But whatever comfort I experienced on Sun Country, I was about to throw out the window. Literally. Have you ever heard of Alaska Airlines? I wash with water. That's tough. I got a bidet as well, my brother. <laughs> bidet brothers. That clip that came out recently where the emergency door flies off the side of the plane. I'm gonna board Alaska Airlines, but not only that, I'm gonna book the exact same seat. Dude, you're so brave. <laughs> no, thank you. So thank you so much. <laughs> Somebody over there said that I was brave so for doing brave. that. Now it looks like I'm making it up. And before I got on this flight, I wanted to see if other people were as nervous as I was. Did you happen to see the video of the door flying off of an Alaska plane? Oh yeah, we're getting on the same kind of plane. I booked the exact same seat that that door flew off of. I might need you to hold my hand. We'll cut all the way. 
Mafia moves out. Before I boarded the Alaska flight, I needed to check in with a certain cameraman. Yo. What are you doing? I'm at the beach, bro. Did you not understand the rules of the whole video? Bro, I've been going home at night. I'm about to get on in Alaska. So this might be the last time we'll ever talk. If you do die, can I have the channel? That's what I figured. You trying to make kissy faces at me right now? All right, he's mogging me. Before I knew it, it was time to board, and I made my way to the seat. Seat, 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 seat. I wanted to see if I was the only one Yo, let me put y'all niggas on some tech because I really fuck with y'all, even though you lie to me on a consistent basis. The exit row is the best seat on the entire plane, okay? Every airplane is different, but you technically have, most of the time, the most leg room of any seat on the plane. Sometimes, especially in Delta, it's a free upgrade. Other times, it's maybe $40. It's definitely less than upgrading to whatever's up there, Comfort Plus or, or First Class. And usually they have those big fat ass dividers so that even if there's a morbidly obese person beside you, their fat can't leak onto your seat. If you get a window seat exit row, you have hit gold, bro. The only negative is like, depending on how close it is to the door. It's, the, it's bar for bar the best seat on the plane. Like I always ask, Willie knows I want this seat. And then, you know, saying if like first class is a $50 upgrade, $100 upgrade, I might take that. But usually I just sit these, bro. There's a the tech. Scared of losing my life, so I asked my seatmates what they thought. Are you scared of violently getting sucked out of the plane mid-flight? Well, I wasn't until now. At the peak of my anxiety, I met this guy named Mike. I used to be scared of flying as well. And you guys are actually choosing to sit in exit room. The safest place to be is after an accident in an airplane. We spent the entire flight talking, and I think that was his way of trying to make True. me feel comfortable. <laughs> He also lives in Alaska and spent the entire flight showing me pictures of moose in his front yard. Nigga, we saw moose when we went to Alaska. Before I knew it, we were landing the plane. I'm sorry for all that stuff I said when we were taking off. No, it's fine. Well, it's fine now. Thank you for your understanding. Mike, we did it. We did it. I'm doing kind of like the Oscars for airlines. I had an award called best person to sit next to. Maybe just pose like you're holding an award and I'll Photoshop it in there. Mike said that we can come <laughs> and hang out with him anytime in Alaska. So if you guys have any ideas for us to do in Alaska, just put it in the comments. Yeah. Right right. Mike, now you really want me to <laughs> We have a friend out there now and the Alaska flight attendants made me part of their family, Alaska Airlines is a tier at this point it was about four o'clock in the morning and i fell asleep in some random lounge overnight jack completed two more flights mukulele started out hot but then my second flight with them they canceled it f tier lanai airlines was a private jet only for 169 dollars s tier we've got some business to discuss this oh y'all niggas spent two seconds talking about the only s tier flight jet why did he not record more look at how cushiony those seats are dog oh man only for $169 S tier. We've got some business to discuss. Yo, this Zay, thank you for the two months. Is fly private for the cost of commercial. And they're not exaggerating on the price. My ticket costs $146. One of the cheapest tickets for the entire video for the nicest seat. It doesn't make any sense. I finally made my way out to the plane where I met the pilot named Reeves. Reeves is only 24 years old and he's the pilot of this plane. He was even cool enough to let me put a GoPro in the cockpit. And before I knew it, Fuck no! So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seats in here. Plus the pilots are right there. We got a pullout table here. We got a phone over there. Looks like we got a little recline here. I think for the first time in this video, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy this experience. We flew for about an hour and a half on this plane. Reeves got a hold of the GoPro and got some sweet shots for you guys. If there is such thing as an S tier airline, this was it. Free snacks, amazing Whoa, service. Oh wait, hold on. They had cheese it. If there is such thing as an S tier airline, this was it. Free snack. Oh, that's tough. Amazing service. Boutique Airlines is S tier. Reeves, I very appreciate of your service today i have something for you it is best captain award it's kind of broken uh, it broke my bag, but you can hold it together well, what's your acceptance speech i have nothing to say you have nothing to say <laughs> there's one more flight that i've been looking forward to for seven days straight it has been rated the most luxurious domestic flight and it is the only thing that has kept me going over the past week but i couldn't help but feel like something was off i actually tried to film the intro for this plane scene and it felt weird doing it so i called tyler to talk to what's up man you look like you've been living in the airport for a year not five days you look very well. Your beard is <laughs> Do you take a shower or anything? There's no showers in the airport. Tyler and I ended up talking on the phone for a while, and it was sort of in this moment that I realized that something actually was wrong. <laughs> I don't know why I'm emotional right now. Oh. Um, I was just thinking about all of the people that we've met over the last six days. They remind me so much of my own friends and family. I'm walking around the airport and I get- Okay, hold on. Why is this making me want to actually talk to people on an airplane? Yo, I'm the type of nigga that goes to sleep before the flight even takes off, and then I'll wake up when the flight lands. Like, the landing is gonna wake me up. Otherwise, please, if you wake me up, my blood is gonna boil, ma'am. Or sir. <clears throat>
That's actually low-key kind of beautiful. You dead ass never know who you're on the plane with. You feel me? Get this video from my friends. We're in a hot tub in Malibu with all my friends. This guy joined me. Do you want to explain why you weren't at the video? I'm still pretty sick, so it's hard for me to explain it right now. And it makes me think about the fact that I've actually been gone for so long. Not just the <laughs> six days that I've been doing this video, <laughs> four years that I've been doing YouTube. And it makes me think of my mom. My mom's name is Jean. She is the coolest lady I've ever met. Since I was a little kid, I've wanted to do YouTube. And there's, and there's not a person that has supported me in whatever I want to do more than my mom, Jean. And since I really started grinding on YouTube, I have not seen her nearly as much as I should. He's about to fly to her. I'm trying to say, I think I decided that I'm going to cancel my flight home and book the first flight I possibly can to go find my mom. So I ended up giving up the best seat in the country, but at this point, it didn't really feel like a sacrifice. I'm going to be honest, after flying 30 flights in a week, it's all the same. The thing I feel like I learned over the last seven days was not which airline is the best in the US. I learned that if you're lucky enough to still have a mom, you should call her or if you can book a flight oh my god <laughs> yeah. so look now this is the negative about surprising your mom okay is now she's always gonna be on edge like what if he's coming for this holiday <laughs> even though i told like i told my mom i'm not coming for eid because like i flew too much like i just came back from ethiopia i can't and then she called me after E, she was like, oh, like, I thought you were going to surprise me. And I was like, damn, yeah, you definitely can't surprise. Because now there's a negative of, like, she might be expecting a surprise. <laughs> but this is very sweet, though. It's very sweet. That that sleeping on the fucking flight shit is overrated. Unless you're on, like, a long-ass flight anyway. I canceled my flight, and then I came to see you. Because I missed you so much. Mm -hmm. Bro, y'all look for any opportunity to say El Sun. What the fuck about what I just said is El Sun, bro? Miss you so much. Do you want to rank American Airlines with me? I don't like American Airlines. They have lost my luggage five times. What would you give them on a tier list? Spirit is probably F. Right? Okay. What's right about that? E. Okay. <laughs> American Airlines E tier. Let's go spend some time together, huh? You want to say the line? You mean your outro? We're leaving now. No. <laughs> Gotta go now. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I'm leaving. Pretty much it. I'm leaving. W mom, W Iraq, W video. Oh, so you like the video? Boom. You, you're gonna like that one too, man. Go ahead, just. Bro, click the link. What the? Bro, that's what I be saying. Like.